Hello, my name is Susan Mingle. I'm a clinical nurse educator for Med One Group. I'm here today to provide a demonstration on the BD Alaris PCU point of care unit and the BD Alaris syringe pump that will be used in settings such as clinical trials or drug studies. There is no drug library in this demonstration. So now I'm going to talk about some of the physical characteristics of the PCU and the syringe pump. The PCU has a large screen. It's surrounded by arrow keys. They'll, they will correspond with a prompt like start, rate, volume to be infused. There's a system on button. There isn't a system off. Silence, options, your numeric keypad, and your decimal, which is highlighted in red. Moving over to the syringe pump, it has your channel select button, pause, channel off button, which is how you will power everything down, and restart. Now swing it around. On the back of the PCU, this is your pole clamp. This is called the tamper resist. There's a button that you can press to lock out the panel. This is where your, this snap, you can fold your power cord up and keep it there neat for transportation. And then over here is what's called an embedded wireless card. The syringe pump attaches and reattaches to the PCU by depressing this gray button, lifting it off at a 45 degree angle. And there are what's called IUI connectors on the side. That establishes connectivity between the PCU and the syringe pump module. And you'll reattach it the same way given some counter pressure to make sure you hear that click so that you know they are connected. You can have up to four syringe pumps per PCU. You can have a quad, triple, double, single. Mix and match however you want. You could have all four on one side, two and two, just whatever works best for your space. The syringe pump accepts a one ml up to a 60 ml syringe and flow rate ranges for the syringe pump module are 0 0.01 hundreds of mils up to 999 mils per hour. So now I'm going to load the syringe. And as mentioned before, it accepts a 1 ml up to a 60 ml. I'm using a 50 ml for this demonstration. I'm gonna raise the driver head up, pull the barrel clamp out, take my syringe and load it up underneath this little gray shelf. Then I will lower the driver so it gra grabs the top of the syringe plunger, rotate the barrel around, and now we're ready to program the infusion. I have just a straight extension set attached. You can use whatever extension set you need. You will manually prime your extension set. I've already done that. This extension set I'm using has a priming volume of 0.7 mLs. So now I'll reach out to this white channel select button to activate. And it recognizes um, you can use Monojec Terumo BD syringes. So I'm going to check BD50 because that's what I have loaded. And it says to confirm. Again, reading this rectangular prompt walks you through what to do each step. And now we're ready to program. So I'm just going to enter a rate of 25. And the volume, it knows exactly what is available. So if I tried to put in 50, it's not going to let me. So this says 48.1. So I want to put in the entire syringe. So I would put in 48.1. And now it's going to tell me to press start. So I go ahead and press my start button. So the light up here is green. This is like a nurse created lighthouse. Green is good. If it alarms, it's red. And it standby is yellow, which is like a pause. If you press the pause button, the pause lasts two minutes. If you don't start it back, it will alarm, so you would just come back in and restart. So while it's infusing, these two buttons here, these arrow keys, correspond with volume infused and audio adjust. So if you want to see how much of your infusion has gone in, or you're ready to clear it, this is where you would do that. You would just press clear all, and then just go back to your main screen. Audio adjust. Five is the loudest, and this pump defaults to that. You can make it lower. I'll test the five. Take it lower by pressing softer. And this is what a one would sound like. Okay. 
So I'll take it back up to five and press main screen. So now I'm going to show you what happens when the syringe has emptied. I'm gonna manipulate the numbers so that I can make it happen pretty quickly. So I'm gonna bump up this rate to 9.99 and I'm gonna take our volume to be infused down to 0.1 just so I can show you what happens when it's complete. Okay, this is an alarm, red. The infusion is complete. You can press silence. If you have a subsequent syringe that you're giving and the rate and the volume to be infused was the same, let's say you've just changed it out. You put a new one in. You channel select. And it's, you always have to confirm your syringes and that it's loaded correctly. See this restore button. This has a memory of seven hours and 59 minutes. Now I did manipulate these numbers, but had I not, the rate would have still been 25 and the volume would have been the exact volume that was in there. So let me go back and I'll just change it to 25 because we're doing another syringe. And it has 46.7 available. So that's what I'm gonna put in. So I want all of it. Press start. So now I'll talk about alarms and troubleshooting. I just showed you an alarm when the infusion was complete. You get the red light, go get your subsequent syringe, load it, go through the checks and the confirmation of what syringe size is there, and then press start. So now I'm going to show you, let's say um, I did not have the barrel clamp in place. Okay, it's beeping red because it's an alarm. It's troubleshooting saying, check your syringe. So I come over and do my three step load and I see that I forgot to do that. So I just make sure that that's put in there properly and I'll restart it. Now it's in standby because I need to restart the channel. So I'll press restart and we're good to go. So if this is completed and you're ready to discharge your patient, how to turn this off. Again, remember there's system on, but no off. The off is located on the channel. So I will press and hold channel off till I hear a beep. I'll let go and it will power the system down. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact medonegroup.com.